Well, I'm here with Teresa Hazen, and Teresa, we are we have a helper here helping us water, mm -hmm. and it's all been about you know getting kids and people out to their gardens. But today, we're going to actually discuss some plants that that get insects, birds, butterflies into your gardens as well. Absolutely, and we have two basic groups here. The ones that are going to attract butterflies that like this kind of landing pad of the sedum, and then the uh, hummingbirds that like the tubular flowers of the fuchsia. And, th and there really is a difference. Yes. I mean, you might see a hummingbird, or a, uh, yeah, a hummingbird set on this once mm -hmm, in a while, but, mm -hmm. but really the feeders need to be a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. And like uh, lavender does mm -hmm. great for attracting mm -hmm. bees. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. And besides, it's beautiful. It attracts us and bees. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. And so tell us about, you know, what, what, what are the benefits? Why would we want a whole bunch of bees? Because a lot of people think, oh, I'll get stung. Well, and we need bees to pollinate crops. Uh, and that those are our food crops. And yeah. also pollinate flowers. And at Legacy Health, we uh, use organic gardening practices because we want a healthy environment for the uh, wildlife, the patients, the families, the employees. So it's part of a healthy environment to attract birds, butterflies, bees, and insects. Yeah, and, and I think that sometimes people get a little confused between the differences between bees mm -hmm. and wasps. Mm -hmm. you're, you're not gonna see a bunch of wasps around lavender. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You're gonna see bees, and mm -hmm. those really are not interested in us. They're interested in that's pollination. Right, that's right. We have a very diverse plant palette, and that's essential in a healthy yeah. environment. Yeah. Really, really, very is. essential. And we also look at a tr uh, plant material for all four seasons. And you know, and th let's let's talk about that a little bit because mm -hmm. you have stuff like here uh, the coreopsis. These mm -hmm. are great because mm -hmm. they're very mm -hmm. summer and late fall. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you really can go into, mm -hmm. you know, into the fall, yeah. winter, even up to frost. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And very attractive plants. Uh, now a lot of these, like the the sedum up here. Mm -hmm. You have this is a great plant because it's another, you know, summertime That's blooming right. plant. And then we leave this stand as long as it will stand because it has great fall and winter interest. Yeah, yeah. and you know, even with the ones like the rutabecchias, mm -hmm. echinaceas, you can leave those on as That's well right. for That's birds. Right. That's right, exactly. Now, speaking of birds, mm -hmm. tell us, uh, you were telling me earlier, so repeat this again, about the hummingbirds that you feed year-round now. Uh, here at Legacy Health, in all of our gardens, we feed the hummingbirds weekly, and we remember to wash out the uh, feeder. Yeah. But we feed weekly because the hummingbirds are here year-round and need to be yep. fed. And I think a lot of us tend to forget that. That's right. Now, you're holding a book here. Tell me about it. I this. think one of the very best books for families and children to get children gardening in the home garden and playing and discovering in nature, uh, wildflowers, blooms, and blossoms. And today we've talked about the black-eyed Susan and the purple coneflower are plants that we have in this collection. Well, you know, and I think, Teresa, I think a lot of times as we get older, we tend to forget what fascination That's we right. found in the That's garden. Right. You know, my grandmother, at three years old, I remember her making snapdragons talk. Fascinated me. Exactly. I mean, you know, and I forget that and getting those children and, and, That's right. and out there and excited about plants. And then you can also teach them about the insects and the birds that are drawn into. It's really a whole learning curve. It's a whole le learning system. Yeah. It's a healthy way to grow up. Well, you know, if, you're, if this interests you and you'd like to find out more information for your own gardens, go to gardentime.tv and we'll help you out. Thank you so much, Teresa. Thank you, William.